What's going on, YouTube? I was sitting here at the house, and I was thinking, man, I really want to go fishing. And, uh, yeah, Brianna and Ethan, they, they took the car. They took it to, uh, the park. So wherever I go, I, I got to walk. And, uh, anyways, I, I, I was thinking, I said, well, where's close by that I could fish? Well, the neighbor lady across the road, she she got a pond, but she won't let nobody fish there, so... That's uh that's out of the option. Uh I I do know one place. It's kind of a far walk though. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it if the big black fish are still there. Yeah, I I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to a pond I ain't been to in years. See if some fish are still there. And hopefully we'll be able to catch some. So, uh... Got my bag. Dad, come! Why is this thing so blurry? There we go. Oh, there we go. Got my bag. Packed. Ready to go. Got everything I need for where I'm going. Except for one thing. I got to get a net. And I'm pretty sure I know where one of those are. So, uh, got everything. Packed. Ready to go. Got my old trusty dusty spinning reel here. And we're fixing to go on an adventure. Right, so, I got my bags, I got my pole, I got my net, and we're going on an adventure. And you may say, Tony, what are you going to do with that little big ass net? Well, you'll see when we get there. You know, I don't think I could have picked a better day in Alabama to do this. You know, usually. Alabama, they got a whole bunch of summer, about three days of fall, and then a whole bunch of summer, and then like a week of fall, and then all of a sudden it's like, where did winter come from? Like all of a sudden it's cold, and it cold, cold down here ain't cold up north. It ain't all the same. I know that, but today, today's a good day. About. I don't know. I, I'd, I'd have to say it's about 90 degrees out here. I ain't looked at the weather or nothing, but that, that's about how it feels. But there's a nice, cool breeze. The sun's a little, you know, beating down on me just a little bit. But I got about another mile to go on my little walk here before I can get into the woods and down in this creek bottom where it's real cool. But, uh, yeah, today's, today's a really, actually a really nice day to be out here walking heading to the fishing hole I feel like Andy Griffith I feel like I should <laughs> okay so maybe I like it's a little hot it's kind of a warm day and that breeze I was talking about earlier it just it just quit but, I mean, this is the first walk I've been on since <laughs> ruck marching whenever I was in the Army. So, I guess at least what I got in my hands isn't an AR. It's not an M16 or, or an M4. I don't have a Kevlar on my head. My pack only weighs about five pounds. And I don't have body armor and long sleeves on. So, you know, there's an upside to everything. At least I'm not in the desert. At least I'm on some dirt road in the shade. Things could be worse. I'm heading fishing. So, what I forgot to tell y'all earlier is... Is that I used to have permission to fish here. But it's been years. And some new people own it. And... So, sort of trespassing, I guess. But the pond is back in the woods and nobody goes to it anymore. So, it's all grown up. It used to be some, a really nice catfish pond. But, not anymore. I think all the catfish have been caught out of it. And, uh, anyways, we'll see what we can catch. Okay, so... Here's the pond. 
And uh, if you can hear them in the background, Bren and Ethan and his friend decided that they were going to come play in the creek that's down the hill. And uh, if I'd have known that, I'd have waited on them instead of walking the whole dang way. But here's uh, here's the pond we're going to be fishing at. See if we can get set up for filming and see if we can catch something. Okay. So I got me a couple minutes. And I'm fixing to set it up. Okay. Usually Usually you can catch a few good stump knockers here, but uh that's not what I'm interested in today. What I'm interested in I'm not even really sure what kind of fish it is, but it's a really big fish. For freshwater pond anyway. <laughs> Little bit of time And it's awesome I still got my bait Ooh, I got the bait. Let's see. I think I had a couple more. Here's one. Good little bitty thing. Let's see what it's gonna track. Okay. Well, I can see the stump knockers down there for me. Bam. Good old Alabama stump knocker. Now the reason or war mouse. They call them war mouse. See these are the ah oh, shoot I dropped them. Get a little bitty thing. Now the reason they call these war mouse is because ah oh, shoot they're a hybrid brim. Instead of having little mouse like regular bluegill they got big mouse. I don't know if you can see it or not. I can't see the screen but they got big mouse like bass.
don't act like you know what you're doing. That's where we want to be out there by that stump. Uh-huh. Another little old bitty things. All right, I need to go get me some more minutes. I ain't seen what I come here for though. May not even be in here no more. See if we can catch something a little bigger. I hope we can. Nope, not a. A little one. I know there's some good ones in here. And there's them big old black, I won't call them carp. I guess that's what they are, but I always thought the carp were like grass eaters, old algae and stuff, but, uh, these fish, I caught the last one on a ghost shrimp that I caught out of this pond. Fresh little shrimp. Mm. Let's see what we get on this one. Oh, bump, bump, that one. Oh, they're slippery. As you can see, they're getting a little bigger. Just a little bigger. Keep an eye out for that old cart, but I ain't seen it yet. Ah, shoot. Missed that one.
I'm just hooking these minnows on here. Just like that. Twice, once through the head, once through the tail. Throwing it out there. Let it sit. Won't take long, just a couple minutes. Just a little thump thump. Raise up your pole. And there's your fish. See, anybody can catch these jerkers. Uh oh. He may not survive that one. We'll probably see him belly up in just a little bit. He swallowed that one. I try to catch and release all the time. I don't really like eating fish, so. Plus, it's just in a dire situation. I really ain't gonna skin and cook one. I just let them go. Let them all go. They sure are fun to catch, though. Sometimes I just suck. Okay, so here I am back at the house. Uh, I actually got talked into going down to the creek with Brian and the boys and playing in the water. We had a really good time. I didn't film any of it, just kind of enjoyed each other and, uh, you know, didn't have the phones out or nothing like that. It's been a really good day. Uh, Maybe next time it'll be a little bit more eventful, but y'all have a good night.